What's up guys? In my last video, look, I had some comments saying, oh, look, no side pads and wearing sandals, you're asking for it anyway, skin on plastic, come on man, no gear at all, why even bitch about being hurt, you don't care, so why listen? Guys, I always wear gear when I set out for a ride. In this video, I was using the Sherman as crutches. I had to choose either these or the Sherman to get around, just like a few hundred meters, you know? A couple of hundred feet and real slowly. So why would I wear full gear? And I had slippers or like sandals because I couldn't wear shoes. My ankle was all swollen and enlarged. So I couldn't put shoes on. So I had to wear slippers. I mean, you know, flip-flops. And yeah, that was that. And I'm feeling a lot better today, guys. I actually went for a ride to the shop to do all my shopping again. But I went on the EUC the whole way. It's like eight miles. Oh no, it's like eight kilometers, sorry. So that's like five miles. And then five miles back, so a ten mile ride. And I'll show you that footage. I thought, you know, I should film it because if I'm going to go for a ride. And no joke, guys, just yesterday, I was legitimately stressing about not being able to do anything like get my shopping, do all my things without being dependent on someone. It was just yesterday and now I can ride like I normally ride. I'm still being kind of gentle on my foot, but on an EUC, you don't really feel much stress. It doesn't matter if you're going five miles an hour or top speed, unless it's really bumpy. If it's a smooth road, it's the same. You could be going top speed and just be like chilling. Also got the cops to worry about though. Can't ride on the road. I try to stay on the sidewalks as much as possible and then like jump on the road when I can. But even so, I try to stay low key. Like fast riding is kind of out of the... Fast riding is kind of what gets their attention. So I like doing fast riding, but if you do it near cops, they're gonna stop you for sure. And you kind of understand it because what does the general public think when they see you riding? It depends on your speed. If you're going slow, they just think, oh cool, look, a Segway thingy. But when you're going fast, they're like, oh what? Look at that thing, it's crazy, you know? They're like, look at this psycho. That's literally what they think. So if you're a cop and you get that impression, you're like, you just feel obliged to stop them, you know? That's how they feel. I can get it. I get how they how they feel, but they don't understand these things. That's the problem. They're just going based on emotion. And that's not what a cop should do. Like, they should look into it. Maybe cops need to get these things. I've talked about cops using EUCs in the past. Like, if they, instead of using Segways, they had EUCs. Maybe they would understand them then they'll get it. But until they do, then they're just like Joe Public. You know, they see you going fast and they think, whoa, look at this daredevil. That's how they think. But it, for us, it's just a normal thing. Every day we go shopping. This is what we do. We're on one wheel and we just cruise in traffic, you know? Just like we'd ride a motorbike or a car is how we use our EUCs or it's how we'd like to use them. And we know it's okay. We know these things are safe. People like this, however, are going to have a hard time believing it, aren't they? And that's Joe Public. And it makes sense. Like, if we saw them before we knew about them, we would have thought the same way. It's just the nature of this beast. This thing, these things are crazy. Like, that's what makes them so cool as well. You know, I can't emphasize that enough. These things are just the coolest. But with all that coolness comes the crazy perception, you know, and it's only natural. But the point is these things are safe.
and they they can be very safe. And but you still got to be careful. Like there's as long as you're um, you're aware of the dangers and you ride appropriately, according accordingly, then it's okay. You know, always be careful when you're on rough terrain. Don't try and accelerate over bumps, you know. You just come off the front. Maybe with power pads, though, it would be a lot safer. It's something I've got to, like, experiment with. But without pads, the way I ride this Sherman, there's no... And I've got skateboard grip tape. It's, like, super slippery. So I'm basically standing on... Just, like, freestanding, you know. Like, anything, any little bump could, like, buck me off. And that's kind of what happened when I got hurt. I got bucked off, and it's because of a bump. It was a bump. It was a big bump in the pavement, a very big one. It was like tree roots, like fully it's making the bricks stick out in like a V shape. And it was kind of because I was holding the box, though. Because I was holding that box, I couldn't see below me. You know what I mean? Like directly below. I could see ahead of me. But I couldn't see directly below me and I missed the that bump like it kind of just like passed my vision you know and then by the time I would have seen it like if I wasn't holding that box I would have seen it because it would have been below me in my vision but because it went out of sight early due to the box I didn't see it at all and I just hit it without being prepared and I got bucked off and that's the dangers of the EUC like bumps like that but like I said, maybe pads would make a big difference in that regard. And it's about a, like I said, a five mile ride to the shop, but I've got to do a lot of it slowly because I'm being careful for the cops and my foot as well. So it'll take us like, I don't know, a good few minutes to get there, but if you wait, if you hang around till we get there, I actually did a power slide right into the shop almost, like right in front of the shop, there's like a big piece of gravel, and as I turn in, I like, I turn into the side street, then do like a U-turn, hop onto the footpath, and then jump on that gravel, and then do like a, a swerve, because there's like a a sign there that I go, kind of go around and then go back the other way to turn into the direction of the shop and just as I go on that gravel and do the swerve I did like a power slide and guys this here is just the community garden and I was just looking for some fruit like sometimes there's just tomatoes and stuff growing here and you can just pick some fruit for free but there was nothing here today and that would have been a bit confusing because I was just talking about power sliding on gravel and this is full of gravel too so but the power slide I was talking about happens at the shop so like I keep going go to the shop and then do a little power slide. not a big one but yeah there's some gravel outside of the shop where I go in it would have been awesome if there was like free food here at the community garden And those dudes back there who were staring, like, thinking this thing looks crazy. If they knew that I was just coming off an injury from yesterday, right, then they'd think it's even crazier. Imagine if you're in the hospital, like, with a bad leg, and you hop out of the hospital and jump on one of these things to get lunch, and people see you, like, leaving your hospital ward, <laughs> then they'd think you're crazy, wouldn't they? Proper crazy.
and we're arriving guys just at the end of this street is the road which the shops are all on and there's so many shops on that road like the other day i did this shopping run that must have been like a world record i was like i went into like 10 shops in like 15 seconds i like popped into one i was like do you have any coconuts no do you have any coconuts nah 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 like you couldn't have done this on any other vehicle i swear And it's just across the road here, guys. Just across there is where I do that little power slide I was talking about. I just like do a U-turn, jump onto the footpath, then swerve around this like sign, and then power slide in. Not really power slide in, but the shop is like just there, 10 feet away from where I did the power slide. Alright, looks like it really sucked. That was it. <laughs> I thought it was like when I did it, it felt good. It was just a momentary loss of traction, I guess. Not a power slide. Did you get the coconuts today? Oh, oh it's the same deal. No coconuts again. Oh, well, that's it, guys. Gotta go back home and think about things some more. Nah, just joking. I'm gonna go to some other shops. And if I can't find coconuts, I'll just get something else. And I'll get a few other things too, like mango, banana, durian, and mandarins probably, watermelon, and probably a lemon. And some pistachios. And that'll be it. Alright guys, I'll see you soon. Peace.